Today I want to share with you a little of an update on our winter wheat benchmarking program. And like any other benchmark, it allows you to uh, look at individual activities against a group average. So it will be no different here. In case of winter wheat, we'll be looking at things like varieties and planting dates in the fall, fall fertility, follow through to spring fertility, spring nitrogen, plant health, weed control programs. And put all that into a database that we can offer back to the growers their individual reports compared to a group average. Jenna DeLay is, is our summer intern, and uh, as long as we're COVID-19 compliant, she'll be out in the fields doing uh, a soil sample shortly to get benchmark fertility, and the grower will get that report back compared to the group average to know where the fertility levels are. We'll be back out to do plant tissue at stem elongation, again at flag leaf, and once again, the grower will get back their individual results compared to the group average. So when you when you look at just how vitally important winter wheat is to our crop rotation, where it enhances the yields of corn and soybeans, it uh, uh, allows us to uh, have a living root system in, in the soil for 11 months to build some aggregate stability uh, and uh, improve the soil structure uh, to give some resiliency to the soil, a little bit of yield stability in the rotation. Those things are always very important. And it breaks up the cycle uh, on weed control as well. We, use different modes of action for battling uh, weed resistance. So it has a lot of benefits and we want to keep it in rotation. And when you look at yields ranging from 65 to 145 bushel the acre, it makes you wonder just what uh, is happening from a management standpoint. So if you're going to improve on anything, you need to inspect what you expect. And so we're going to do a deep dive into these practices and get them recorded in database. And then uh, at the end of the year, we'll summarize uh, everything and see what uh, kind of practices lead to a better outcome, including marketing. And uh, when we look at when wheat is priced and when it's delivered, an awful lot of it's still done at harvest time, and that's leaving about $100 an acre on the table some years. So it would lead us to having a discussion about what risk management strategies can we do on the marketing side to improve income and not just look at the production side as well. So looking forward to see what, we, what kind of information we can gather and what kind of things we can discover that are related to, to a better outcome. And uh, there'll be more to come. So thanks for listening and uh, everyone stay safe and healthy out there.